welcome back. Look what I got you guys. Today's the day we are putting these fertile turkey eggs in the incubator. These have been acclimated to our house temperature already. You want to give them about four to eight hours depending on where you had your turkey eggs stored and how cold. So these guys are ready to go. I've had my incubator going now for probably three days because I was waiting for the lady that I got these from to actually have enough for me to get six. These guys are the Royal Palm Breed Turkey. They are known to be a more docile farm raised turkey, not just for meat purposes, but to actually have around the farm. They do really good at foraging without tearing up your yard like sometimes we know chickens can do. These guys are also pretty hardy and disease resistant, so they're really good and fun to have around. Your males typically will top out at about 22 pounds. The females tend to be around 12 to 14 pounds. So I'm really excited to get these in the incubator. Hopefully they're good and fertile and ready to go. Right before we put these in, I just wanted to point out the way that these were stored I've talked about in previous videos. You want to make sure when you're storing them, you do have them the skinny tip down, fat side up. And we do not need to flip them back and forth. You just basically want to rotate them a few times a day like I was explaining in our last video, which I will put a link up top in the description down below. We're getting ready to put these in our incubator. Our temp has been fluctuating between a 98.7 up to about a 99.9. .9. For these guys, I want it to hang around 99.5. Those little bit of fluctuations I was just saying is okay for these and they're gonna do just fine. My humidity has been hanging right around 55 up to about 59%. So once again, this is perfect for these guys. Just remember, prior to touching these, you want to make sure your hands are nice and clean and dry just to prevent any bacteria getting on the egg or seeping through. Go ahead and open the incubator, Emily. Got my helpers today. And we are just going to set these guys skinny side down, fat side up. I'm just going to kind of put them all around in here. I don't think it really matters where you put them. I'm just gonna kind of put them all somewhat close together. My little thermometer fell, so we're gonna put this back up here. Let's go ahead and close it down, Emily, nice and easy. We're gonna get these guys a few hours while keeping an eye on the temperature, because you are gonna see it drop down quite a bit because the eggs are a little cooler. So just keep an eye. Once it gets back to temperature, you should be back right around your 99 to 100.0 degrees. As you guys can see, we've got the eggs positioned in there. Because I only do have six, I am gonna keep them out from directly under that heater and just put them on the sides. We've got the forced air fan in here to help circulate. I've got an egg turner in here to help turn the eggs automatically. Now, because I do have that egg turner in here, it is automatically turning those eggs for me. If you do not have an egg turner, I do suggest putting an X and an O on each side of the egg. Do not use pin, do not use marker, just use a lead pencil and mark them. And you will have to turn them at least once every six to eight hours. If you're not able to do that, then you need to at least be doing it once every 10 hours. The more you can do it, the better your hatch is going to be. You just want to be cautious of each time you're opening this incubator because it can let hot air out, cool air in, and let humidity out. So you want to make sure you're doing it at a quick, gentle rate. I do get the question sometimes of when do I count my first day? We are putting these in mid-morning. Basically, you want to look at the clock, wait 24 hours 
then count that as day one. So right now we're at actually day zero. Tomorrow, right around mid-morning, will count as my first day. Hopefully that's helped answered that question that I do get a lot. All together, we got about 28 days till hatch day. Turkeys tend to start hatching anywhere from the 27th day all the way up to the 30th day, but average 28 days. At day 10, I will do an update. We'll candle these, check and see if they're fertile, and it will give you a good idea of what to look for when you're incubating turkey eggs. It's been about two hours since we put these turkey eggs in the incubator. Incubator's already back at temp, so we're reading a 99.5 and a 99.1 with a 58% humidity. Happy with it? We're back stable again. Now all we gotta do is wait for these turkeys to hatch. Keep an eye out for the next video update in 10 days when we pull them out and do some candling. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.